testing. of the Lord declared unto Mary <clears throat> she conceived by the Holy Spirit Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Amen. behold the handmaid of the Lord be it done unto me according to thy word Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy by the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and for strength. You sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call us even though we're sinners, Christ, have mercy. You forever deceive for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. This afternoon we offer Mass for Marie Similia Joseph. Defend your church, O Lord, by the protection of the holy apostles, that as she received from them the beginnings of her knowledge of things divine, so through them she may receive, even to the end of the world, an increase in heavenly grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice that had spoken to me before, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen afterwards. At once I was caught up in spirit. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one whose appearance sparkled like jasper and carnelian. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, I saw 24 other thrones on which 24 elders sat, dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings, and peals of thunder, seven flaming torches, burnt in front of the church, in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass like crystal. In the center and around the throne, there were four living creatures. The first one resembled a lion. The second was like a calf. The third had the face like that of a man and the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night, they do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks, to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne exclaiming, worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things because of your will they came to be and are and were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, mighty God. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, mighty God. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, mighty God. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. According to Matthew. After the crowd had eaten their fill, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and precede him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. 
After doing so, he went up on the mountain to, by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. And Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him, Reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. So in this month of November, we've had two uh, feast days dedicated to dedications of basilicas. The first one was on the 9th the dedication of the Lateran uh, Basilica, which was the uh, original place where the, uh, the popes lived until after they came back from Avignon. They, were in, uh, they had left Rome, and when they came back, they, they moved into what we call now the Vatican. And today we celebrate the two basilicas that are really very, very important to us as Catholics. And it's the basilica dedicated to St. Peter, which Constantine in the early third, uh, not the early, but like, yeah, fairly early, 330s, uh, he built a basilica over the grave, the tomb of St. Peter. And that's where we have today St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. And then he also built a church uh, outside of the walls, they call it, St. Paul outside of the walls. Beautiful, beautiful uh, basilica dedicated to Paul. And those two saints are foundational figures, you know, Peter and Paul. Uh, there, there was a time when uh, these seas that were kind of naturally uh, developing, like kind of what we would call today dioceses, archdioceses, and when the emperor moved to the east, he created the patriarchal see of Constantinople, and the idea there was that Constantinople would be much more important uh, than Rome, but Rome always would say, hey, we got the bones. <laughs> we, have, we got the bones. We got Peter and Paul. We have the apostles who were martyred here. But today there's an invitation to just appreciate church, you know, and who we are, and the idea of this gospel, uh, I'm sure they, when they put in the, together readings for a feast day like this today, uh, our churches are made really, if you think about it, to look like we're inside of a boat, like in Noah's Ark almost, uh, and then we're protected, you know, we're <laughs> going out there against the world, you know, and uh, yet uh, we're safe and sound inside God's holy temple. And we don't stop there. We think of what St. Paul said about us as well, inspired by God to say that we are temples, each and every one of us, of the Holy Spirit, you know? We're temples of the Holy Spirit. So, to this, so on this the feast day of the dedication of St. Peter and St. Paul's basilicas, maybe we could appreciate the way the church helps us to be liberated from the craziness of the world, but also that in the world we can be church, we can be a basilica, you know, uh, to others, uh, and, and uh, reflect that beauty, that love, that mercy, all the things that God gives us here, we bring out there. Let us pray that the church around the world may continue to grow and prosper under the protection of Christ, we pray to the Lord that all who govern may be led by the Holy Spirit in strength, courage, and right judgment, we pray to the Lord. That the Lord in his mercy may help all who are in financial need, especially those who have lost employment because of the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. That all gathered here may grow in spiritual richness through the grace of the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. And now for any of your own special intentions. pray to the Lord. 
God, you are worthy of all glory, honor, and power. Look favorably on us who gather and worship today and answer the prayers we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we bring you this offering of our service, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that the truth handed down to us by the ministry of the apostles Peter and Paul may endure undefiled in our hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, especially Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Taught by our Savior's command and formed by the word of God, we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. of eternal life, and we have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God.
those at home, they'll pray with you the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as although you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your people, we pray, O Lord, nourished by the bread of heaven, rejoice in commemorating the apostles Peter and Paul. For it is through your gift that we are governed under their patronage, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Enjoy the rest of the day, everybody. Take care. Thank you.